Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use Trello app. So this is going to be a tutorial of all the features within the app. I do have a playlist which goes a little bit more in depth with all the things you could do within the app, but uh, this is going to be like an overview of everything so you can use the app. Uh, so I'm going to start off at the top left hand corner, working my way down to the bottom right hand corner of the app. So at the top left you'll see uh, like the person icon with the plus. That's going to be like the uh, find friends section here, so you can invite people at the top right hand corner there by text or email. You can connect your Facebook there, you can have friends and contacts, and you'll also see some recommendations. But at the top there, uh, you'll see following, music, and uh, social tabs there. Uh, so they're all the tabs you can swap between there. Uh, right now I'm following no one, but how to follow someone is all you have to do is you'll see in their video at the bottom left hand corner, you see follow next to their name on each of them, so you go ahead and click on that and uh, you'll be following them, then all the videos will be there in the following section eventually when it kind of refreshes. Uh, so there, and there you can see that. And now from the uh, music, music and social section, you uh, can see the three dots at the bottom right hand corner. On each video you can report, uh, share or copy the URL to kind of send it to someone uh, with that. And also for each of them you can just scroll down all the videos just by uh, scrolling down like I'm doing now to see all the different videos there uh, for this. And then you can like the video by just clicking that uh, heart button there. And also uh, on the music videos, uh, you'll see like the Apple Music sign there or whatever it will be on Android if they're using it. You better click on that, then see what uh, the song is for that. You can kind of play that, to pause it, etc., etc., uh, within the video. And then you'll see like the little like uh, paper aeroplane type area there. That's going to be uh, like how you uh, will direct message someone on the app. Some people have it, some people don't, as you can see here. But if uh, they do, all you want to do, go ahead and do is just uh, click on that little direct message thing there, and you'll be able to like DM the person, private chat them, like that, send them a message in there. And you can add like uh, files, etc., by clicking the plus button and things like that within there. Send a picture, etc. And you can also do that at the top right hand corner with like uh, people like on your your friends are on there, people you're following, and other is for people you aren't. And you can click plus and look them up there with a new message like that. So that's how you do that. Uh, now, uh, for each of them, as you can see here, uh, you, you can go full screen by uh, clicking that little full screen button there. So as you can see this, it will, it will go full screen with like, specific videos that allows it. So like this one here, you, use it, you can go full screen for that. So uh, all the different things there you can do for that. Uh, so now uh, we're going to be going on to like the uh, bottom left hand corner of the app. Uh, right here, which is going to be Discovery. So you can see all these different music things here, all these different like uh, songs. You can go featured, trendy, and Afrobeats, different things there. And there's like, different like playlists and stuff you can uh, listen to, as you can see here. So you can kind of discover that for yourself. You're going to search up specific songs or artists there. At the top there with the search bar in the top right hand corner. So uh, next, uh, we're going we to go into uh, like the search uh, bar, as you can see there, the little magnifying glass at the bottom left. Uh, you can see at the top there has a leaderboard. So when you click on the leaderboard, you see the people who are like the most followed in different sections as well, like within the countries, like different the types of video, like gaming, etc., lifestyle. You can see all the most followed people right here on the leaderboard, so you can uh, track your progress there. And then you've got uh, different types of things at the top. They see active and stuff like that, and uh, trending top videos, all this type of things. So this is like if you want to search up specific things or popular videos here. And you can search someone's actual name at the top there too, specific people's names or hashtags as well. That's an easier way to search it up there. And then on each video, if you see the hashtag at the bottom, you'll be able to just click on that and then you'll be able to see uh, videos that are similar like that, instead of the comedy one here, etc. within that. Uh, now uh, we're going to go to the uh, actual like plus part, which is where you get, how you're going to like do videos on the app. Uh, so you want to go ahead and click plus on there. Then you're going to uh, say uh, create your music video or social video. They're both going to be the same apart from the fact with a music video, uh, you're going to be able to like, pick a music in the background. If you choose a social one, you just won't have that option. So it's pretty similar for each of them. So as you can see here, first of all, you'll select a song. Then uh, for each of them, you can like click on the song. Let's say if you want the, uh, the top one there. Then you're going to be out. That song's going to be on your video, and then it will come up with a thing where you can kind of like see where in the song you want it. You can kind of drag it along, and for how long for? So you can see they want it for 10 seconds. You can do that and then drag it along, uh, so the song fits to your video. Then once you're done with that, you can click the top right hand corner where it says film. Then you, this is going to be like the option here uh, where you can uh, uh, pretty much uh, do like flip the camera around to see whatever you want to do for that. So you flip the camera around there. You can do some filters. Uh, so here are all the filters right here. So you got like sponsored challenge, all these types of ones at the bottom here. Uh, so you kind of depend on whichever one you want for that. And then you can click apply uh, once you're done with that top right hand corner. But if you don't, you can click the top left hand corner there. 
You can also zoom in by uh, clicking that little uh, three button there. It's going to zoom in, the one to zoom out. You can do that while uh, in the video, etc. Uh, also the speed, you see you can uh, click fast, slow mo, normal, whatever with that. And also the timer too. So it's like a three, two, one time. So once you click the um, and the record button there, the big red one, you can click on that, it will go three, two, one, and then it will start recording. So you can kind of put your camera down, go back, and then record like that. In the bottom left hand corner, you've got the camera roll, so things uh, from your phone, etc., uh, you will be able to get from there and put into this video, and then you'll be able to like, edit it together like that. Uh, so, uh, we obviously, at the top left hand corner is where you can kind of go out of the video if you don't want to record one anymore. You want to go back and pick a different song, etc. Uh, but uh, if you're recording the video, all you want to do is just click that uh, red, big red button there. You'll see it's recording. You can stop it any time just by clicking it again. And then you'll see it's been recorded in the top left hand corner there. Uh, so you can kind of add a take. So if you, if you want to add to that original video you've just done and you don't want to edit it together, you can just click click in again and then it will add to that, uh, that original video. But then if you want to do like a different take, like you want to add a change different, you can click uh, add take there. And then you can do like a different video like this. You can do multiple different ones and you can edit it together in the next section, which is how you get there. It's by clicking the bottom right hand corner. Uh, so you'll see that you also can do undo if you don't want those specific things as well. But next at the bottom right there. Then you will see uh, like this this video, you'll be able to play it, you'll be able to see what's there, you'll see what it does, and then if you're not happy with it, uh, you can kind of shuffle it, click shuffle again, that will kind of move the video around if you want it, but if you want to edit specifically, you want to click on the bottom, uh, the left hand corner of the screen, you see that all those uh, different clips there, you've got two different ones, they are different even though it looks the same, just for this example, but then you can kind of click where you want it in the video, so as you can see there, it will switch around, and switch them at different positions, different positions in there, it will kind of give us switch around as you please at the bottom there. I do have a video explaining this in a little bit more in depth. Uh, although it's linked in the playlist in the description below. But once you're done with that, you can click share on the top right hand corner. It's going to process the video for a few seconds. And then it's eventually going to ask you there to like title the video, description, you can put hashtags, etc. You can put the category in there. As you can see here, different things uh, for that. And then a tag a location, set to private if you don't want everyone seeing it, just the people you follow, etc. And once you're done with that, you can click post and save. It will create the video. It will take a few seconds for it to eventually publish. And then uh, once you've uh, kind of done that, you come up here saying so you can share it to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or you can uh, download it, uh, or you can also uh, click more. There's different things you can do within there. And then you, for it to actually post, you will need it for it to be like 100%, as you can see there, as it just is. And then let's come up with a few more options. You can message it, copy link, etc. It's a different uh, social medias. And once you're done with that, just click done. And you can go on your profile back in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, then you'll see like your post there. Uh, so once you, can, once you see that, you can uh, like click on it, uh, view it, make sure it's okay. If you don't want it anymore, you can click the three dots in the bottom right hand corner and you can delete it there. You can also do all the other things, edit video details, make the video private and all the other stuff you can do with other videos. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it now because I don't want it. So as you can see, that's how it does it there and it deletes it straight away. It's pretty good with that. So that's everything you can do within that section. There's that little bell there, it's the activity, like the notifications, like all the uh, follows you've got or that uh, people have posted, etc. within there. And now uh, for the bottom right hand corner, it's going to be uh, right here, it's going to be at your account page, your profile. Right here, so you can see who you're following by clicking on that. Uh, as you can see there, you can unfollow the person by clicking on the right hand side with that pink button. Click unfollow there, or you can go in their profile by clicking the name, and you can see all their different now uh, trailer videos within there. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and unfollow this person, so click and just do that. You can search out the person's name if you've got a bunch of followings as well. And then uh, you'll see who's following you within the section as well. And then uh, obviously uh, in the top right hand corner, uh, you've got the little cog there. Uh, so you can go ahead and click that. And then that's going to actually, you can change your password in here. You can also make your account private. You turn off auto scrolling feed. So basically it'll stop on the video that you're on. You turn that off or on. Your auto music player as well. So if you don't want that, you can click that off. Uh, then you've got contact syncing, allow data collection, you can turn that off or on. The video resolution here, so you can, depending on like your internet connection, you might want to change that around. Your selfie mirror, you've got the terms of use, uh, privacy policy attribution, you can clear the cache, uh, leave some feedback about, or you can log out at the bottom right there, so click that and then click log out, and then that's done for that. In the top right hand corner also, you're going to get the same section in the top left hand corner, you can find friends. Now the last section is going to be edit profile. So once you're there, you'll be able to change your name just by clicking on that and changing it. Change your username and your email there as well. You can enter a different bio so people will be able to see it. 
uh, then you've got Instagram username, your cover image, you can make it a private account by clicking that button right there. You also change your profile picture at the top there, so just clicking on that picture. And you can change that uh, from your camera roll, etc. Just take a picture of that. Then you can also invite friends, uh, Facebook friends, social contacts, clear data, you'll be able to change your password there, so you can change that. And then it also you can log out the bottom, but then uh, once you're done with all that, you just click done. And then it will save it, so make sure if you change your name, etc., you want to save it like that. So that's it for this video. I kind of go over everything. Any more questions, leave them in the comment section below. If this did help you out and is informative, leave a like on the video. Subscribe for more videos like this. Click on screen to see my how-to videos on the Triller app and other videos similar. But that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.